medical ward, treat diseases and humors and other physical. Uh, okay, where is the guy? Where is my this guy? So he has some issues going on here. Yeah, like this stuff. Wow, he has a lot of diseases, huh? Spotted fever as well. Hemophilia. Okay, he's got everything going on. Huh? We need to get rid of that for sure. All right, so you're gonna get popped in here. Get some treatment, buddy. See you soon. Well, I get to choose what I get rid of. Do I click on it? Ah, I see. Oh, it's free. What about this one? Also free? Okay. Damn, they got universal health care? Damn. <laughs> Even in this bleak world, they have universal health care, huh? Meanwhile, as an American over here, I'm like hella stressing over like the the most <laughs> the mundane like injuries or any kind of illness or anything or even like vaccination shots. You're like, yeah, man, it's whack. All right. Anyway, uh, what about this guy? You got no diseases because you're a G. So this must mean that it's locked in, huh? This shit. Uh, in town will only fail you for stress relief, intense cream for alcohol. I feel like these aren't that bad cork wise. Um, maybe, I don't know. Um, but someone needs to go into. What's she doing? Oh, she went to. Oh, most of her stress is gone from the brothel. I guess she had a good time, huh? Good for her. Uh, <laughs> Darkest Dungeon takes good care of us. Uh, people. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. You know, like I mean, w I don't know. Would I want to live in this kind of world here? But they offer universal health care, right? And that's like a huge carrot on the stick for a lot of things uh, in America. So, mm, I, I mean, that's a generous kind of euphemism, uh, kind of. Like a nice way of putting it because it's more than a carrot on a stick i mean it's more like yeah carrot on a stick plus like getting beaten from behind to you know because it's it's associated or it's tied to your workplace uh insurance and stuff like that so it's like it's not easy for you to switch jobs um and, and things like that because you need health coverage especially if you have like family and then you have like kids and shit like that it's just you know what I'm saying? So, uh, now I forgot what I was doing because I was talking about how America is number one. <laughs> number one at not having health care. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, I mean, what are you going to do, right? I mean, well, I mean, there's a lot that you can do, I guess, you know, vote. Vote the psychopaths and sociopaths out of office and, like, you know, stop the, the lobby machine from you know, ruining the country. Pulled I mean, how can you, how can people be living in the world's richest nation and then be like rationing out insulin and dying because of it? You know what I'm saying? Like other countries, like that shit is capped at a certain price. So you can't go above it, but that, that's not how it is in America. So they can charge whatever the fuck they want. And people are dying from like diabetes, you know? I mean, like people can't afford to live like it's not like they're trying to afford to buy a tv or something like they're just trying to live you know it's, i don't know man but you know whatever but yeah yeah dark that is hilarious that they get free health care in this game that's just too funny to me to those with a keen uh, eye gold gleams like a dagger's point yeah yeah, apparently many Americans who move find great uh, stress relief in other countries. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, it's a it's a fact, right? Um, I mean, yeah, I'm mean, sitting here talking shit about the healthcare situation because it's absurd, you know, and it really is. I mean, yeah, there's some humor in all situations, at least to me, but ultimately it is a gigantic failure, um, like in governance, that this is the case, that that this is the state of affairs for America right now. I mean, because just think about it, the world's richest nation out of all the countries in the world, this is by far the most richest, right? And it's not, I'm not trying to say that that's a, even a good thing. Cause like, I don't even really necessarily think that's a, a, a positive thing to be the richest nation. 
but i mean just to give that disparity between having that much wealth concentrated wealth in this single country and yet there's not enough provided for its citizens right and it's uh, you know people always uh, like in gov uh, like politics trying to make excuses like okay th it doesn't work because of this reason or that reason whatever but i mean this country spends over eleven thousand dollars eleven thousand us dollars like per citizen on health care in the uh versus uh like thailand that spends 731 dollars per citizen and they have full universal health care if you have uh, and they didn't they didn't used to have that but in a very short span of time they went from not having that so having basically similar or worse coverage than what is available in america to having full universal health care so if you got a kidney transplant you need liver transplant whatever same i mean you, you're covered same shit in like england you know what i'm saying like i mean you, you're I mean, in most of the world you have um pretty good options for the price you pay but in america you spend eleven thousand dollars per citizen um, and it's the only uh first world country where it's like a free like uh, open market or free market whatever they call it um and it's the most inefficient system because people who are making money uh, are doing it at the cost of the lives of the citizens right uh that that being stated right i, I don't want it to be extrapolated out to make it seem like uh, i'm not like happy as an american in the sense that like uh, that i hate being an american or something because because i don't you know i'm proud to be an american um not like gu gu guns blazing and you know you know, <laughs> you know what i'm saying with like eagles flying behind my back and shit like that not like that but like you know uh i think there's a lot of beautiful things uh here not just visually and like geographically but just as an american citizen like a lot of things that are afforded to me like the uh like uh as, as a citizen like so i think it's cool but healthcare is an abject absolute failure of governance um and it's just it's just unfortunate because it doesn't have to be that way you know and i feel like um it'll take time obviously but as long as people keep staying engaged like they did in this midterms because like the gen z really turned out for the votes like they came out um because that wasn't not that's normally not the case the youth aren't really galvanized to go vote um but this time it was different you know they short showed up in full force and they're like fuck all these old geriatric politicians um ruining the country and also the world right you know with like its environmental policies or lack thereof and all this other shit um and they went and voted um and it was impressive to see and I hope it continues because ultimately the only way it's going to happen is to not have um, apathy. You need to be engaged, like, even if it feels like it's not changing enough or anything at all. Right. And because a lot of times people are like, well, you have to choose between one line politician and another line politician. It's the same shit. I'm like, I mean, yes, like, but it's like they might both be shit, but I mean, there's less shit, you know, <laughs> so I don't know. But but yeah, I mean, healthcare, if, if people here had healthcare, um, like basic stuff, like maternity leave, if they had like paid leave, you know, and proper like uh, uh, coverage, like worker rights, like better, uh, like minimum wage, you know, like this basic kind of stuff that's like, you know, it's non, non complex things really, right? Uh, like in, in the sense of like, yeah, it's to get it executed, maybe it's complex, but like the things that people should be focused on and pushing towards are non-complex things right it's not like it's hard to understand like yeah people need better um, basic income they need health coverage these type of things like the concept is easy to grasp um it's just like the people in between in between the people wanting what they want and being able to get it like the people in between there like the lobbyists the industries and also the politicians that's what makes it difficult they obfuscate how to get there they obfuscate the information um, that the citizens should have so they can make informed decisions when they're voting for example so a lot of people are brainwashed to vote against their own interests right because they're like you know screw this party a uh, political party or screw that political party and it becomes a culture war where it should not be a culture war it should always be a class war that's what it should be right not a culture war but you know they misdirect the anger and this uh and the like the the desire for change and kind of like uh focus that on things that don't matter 
I mean, it matters, I guess, right? Like cultural, like things, like, you know, values, you know, they matter, but that's not what's going to bring progress. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's actually like these class changes. If you look at history and what happens over time and that, you know, for the people of uh, progress were those type of things, right? So like the culture war would be of almost no interest if people all had food on the table and didn't have to worry about like how they can afford to live like uh like how they can afford housing how they can afford to pay for health care for their friends or not for their friends but for their family or their children etc you know if and they had full bellies and stuff like this uh, if this was the case for all the citizens like all this hatred over dumb shit like okay who's marrying who you can't marry because you're the same gender or you can't do this because you know whatever you're not the right sex or not, not the right race you know like this kind of shit this shit wouldn't fucking matter because people wouldn't care um but uh but yeah i mean it's just like the same shit all over the world just to different degrees um and since america is so um it's like so exposed like uh, via media in a lot of ways um so for both f like in unfair ways as well because there's too many there's too many spotlights on the country i feel uh so there's certain things that are discussed where it's just like it's the same thing in other countries as well yet you know all the attention is on america because of how exposed they are in the media uh, not just the mind share through cultural exports like you know tv shows and movies and music and um like celebrity stardom and shit like that but you know other things as well so it's just kind of like you know i don't know i mean there's a, i'm just talking about a lot of different stuff as i'm kind of like uh just thinking about all the problems that this country has and what problems are shared by all nations uh, because all nations do share common threads right like where the rich oppress the poor you know and you know and the various means and methods and systems in place to keep it that way right all countries have that problem to various degrees it's just how intense is it you know and how transparent of an issue is it and how is it how easy is it to fix given the the political structure and like the laws and regulations and whatever you know where where can people actually affect change um and uh even with all that being said um and like the democracy the type of democracy that america has is um it's it's pretty old in the sense that it's like one of the older democracies in the world right so there's a lot of flaws in the system but even so uh i feel that it is still like uh like a pretty free country like i know that almost sounds kind of funny to say uh it sounds very kind of cliche to say like okay the land of the free right uh free from having health care free from having like you know the ability to buy homes you know like that kind of shit you know but uh, but even so like you know if you look at other countries that are authoritarian like i mean you you really do have like free press out here you know you can live a free life you can express yourself and you can protest and not be killed you know so um i mean that's not a good metric um that's not a good bar to compare but unfortunately that is reality in a lot of countries and a lot of cultures like people can't do what americans take for granted so in these type of things it, it makes me as an american still proud to be an american but also extremely sad to see what could be but isn't you know um so so yeah i mean i mean it sucks but i mean i guess all that st stemmed from the fact that this game offers free health care because <laughs> this game i mean this game is so bleak you know it's so dark and yet they get free health care that's just hilarious to me um compared to you know real life or whatever so but that's what it is, man. <laughs>